This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, today's date. Yeah. You say advanced planning? Yeah, correct. Advanced, so can, yeah. advanced planning, what is uh, uh, O stand for? Oh, APO, right? Okay, no, that is APO. Actually, I will tell you. This is the word advanced planning is there in S for HANA. Okay, this is a word in S, S for HANA, mm -hmm. but APO is another system. Okay, its name is advanced planning and optimizer optimizer yeah that's different uh... and, yeah optimizer okay this is another system okay but we will see what is advanced planning and everything okay before advanced planning we will see what is a apo okay. apo is actually the another system like your ecc system SRM, CRM are the different systems like that. APO is a different system. Okay. In that system. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, please. Go ahead. Okay, so like ECC, you have a different modules like MM, PP, FICO, QM, PM, all these modules. Okay, like that, APO system is also having the different modules like DP, SNP, DS, GATP, EDM, EM. These are the different modules. DP means demand planning. SNP means supply network planning. And PPDS is production planning and details. GATP means global availability to promise. It's called global ATP. Uh, various management <clears throat> enhanced <clears throat> EMC event management. Is this uh, advanced planning? These are the different it? modules. Yeah, is the advanced planning yeah. is uh, is a part of uh, production plan? Yeah, I'm coming to that actually. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. These are the different modules in APO. Now, SAP, what they did is mm -hmm. they want to uh, scrap this APO system. Scrap means they don't want to use this APO system mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. 2025. I see. Okay. They have come up because of the technology changes and everything. Mm -hmm. They don't want to use this APO system after 2025. So then see. what they did is all these modules they are uh, they are adding into S4. Mm -hmm. Okay. All these modules they are adding into S4 system mm -hmm. and other system also. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, these DP and SNP modules they have adding this into another module called IBP. This is another cloud based. Mm -hmm. IBP is a cloud based. Mm -hmm. So these two modules, they are adding into cloud. <coughs> OK, this mm -hmm. is also cloud. Now PPDS, they, this module they bring into S4 HANA because this is more related to PP module. Mm -hmm. Okay, and GATP also S4 HANA. 
and EWM also S4 HANA. This event management is also in S4 HANA. Okay. So these modules they uh, adding into S4 system. Now this S4 HANA PPDS is nothing but advanced planning in S4 HANA. Advanced planning is nothing but a APO PPDS module. Okay. Mm. Now, what is the relation between these two? Okay. What is the relation between your uh, PPDS and PP? Okay. This APO system itself is a advanced planning. Advanced means it is more advanced than your ECC system. Advanced in the sense adding features Okay, for example, you have the phone iPhone iPhone 6 is there now In the market you have the iPhone X So what is the difference means both are using for phone calling and internet browsing only but iPhone X, X is more advanced than your iPhone 6 Correct so like that this PPDS module is more advanced advanced in the sense of features Than your ECC PP But PPDS uh, don't have uh, Is the PPDS is cover this all means uh, uh, GATP EWM and all this stuff. No, 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 no All these are the different modules Okay in S4 HANA this GATP is called a different module AATP Okay, EWM is called S4 HANA EWM only And event management in S4 is TM Transport management these are the S4 system only but different modules Okay S4 system only, but mm -hmm. different modules. So is the APO or the advanced planning that's part of uh, production planning? Yeah. I see. Okay. This S4 PPDS is now it is calling as advanced planning, advanced and I uh, <laughs> if you want to implement this one, mm -hmm. it is like uh, implementing another module. I see. Okay, it is not actually uh, included to your PP module, mm -hmm. but if you want to use these features, you need to implement as a different module. I see. Okay. So now, sorry, <coughs> are you talking about the PPDS? PPDS is another module. Yes. Another module, correct. Oh, but it is a very small module. The PPDS is that right? Not yeah. very small actually. It is having its uh, like a PP module. It is having the, all these processes okay. Not a small module actually But not uh, a big as big as a PP module Yeah, so PP now a PP it has all this model uh, almost all this uh, Functionality of PPDS we can say Yeah, it is having but with a different name advanced planning okay okay like you can see you have a business processes correct discrete mm. pppi repetitive like that yes. you have another module sub module you can say that is called advanced planning yeah okay i can show you in the path actually logistics yeah you can see production Production mm -hmm. process and you have advanced planning. This is nothing but your APO PPDS I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, the all functionalities of PPDS they put it into here in this folder Advanced planning. I see okay. uh, Only I was uh, actually uh, looking the, the course events when you 
uh, when we started the classes long time ago. Sure. So there was a course that you sent it to us. By the email, right. And then I was looking all over and I did not find advanced planning. So that's why I was very really confused where it comes from. Yeah. Okay. 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 So this is what is advanced planning actually. Mm -hmm. okay. What was the previous uh, uh, screen that you you had? I did not see. Uh, that is a course content actually. You are telling about something course, so I opened the course. In this course oh, content, yeah. you can see at the end actually the topic. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Not this one. I can show you. Can see wow you of on advanced one, 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 Okay, this is nothing but APO PPDS. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now, what are the features you feel than your ECC? We will see now. Okay. So this advanced planning actually the two parts. Mm -hmm. Part one and part two. Okay, that means you can see the module PPDS. Actually, PPDS is a two parts. One is PP means production planning. Mm -hmm. DS means a detail scheduling. Okay. Mm -hmm. This advanced planning is a two parts. One is a production planning and detail scheduling. Okay. Now, what is this two means in PP? Is these two is nothing but a production planning is nothing but your MRP. Detail scheduling is nothing but your capacity plan. Okay, these two they have enhanced, added the some advanced features, and they put it into a different module. Okay. But the functionalities are same, but they only advance more. They they, they advance it more. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. The purpose is like MRP. What MRP will do? When you run the MRP based mm -hmm. on the requirements, it will generate purchase order, uh, purchase request, or planned order. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this production planning also will create the same thing. Planned order or purchase request, but it will use the different programs functionalities mm -hmm. to generate this planned orders. Means functionalities and programs means calculation, different calculations it will do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in the capacity planning, mm -hmm. it will do the additional features. I see. Okay, then normal. For example, capacity planning. What we are doing in the capacity planning, we are doing sequencing of orders. Sequencing right. means where our warload is there, you are moving manually to another day or something. Correct? Yeah. But in detail scheduling, that you can do automatically. You can execute one program and system will automatically schedule, means sequence the orders. Mm -hmm. That is advanced. In your normal capacity planning, you cannot run any program. You need to just drag and drop mm. to make them as a sequence. Mm. Correct? Mm. But detail scheduling will have the programs where you can add, means you can do the sequencing automatically. Mm. Okay. So now, what are the main features of these PPDS? One is problem solvers. Problem solvers are this is called the heuristics. What is a problem solver? Problem solver means in your planning you have a problem. 
like lot size is not calculating properly or lot size is not matching to your industry okay you can develop your own lot size or you can develop your own program and you can use that program while doing the planning and this heuristic is the word actually this word heuristic is nothing but a one function module it is nothing but a program so sap has given different programs you can use them as per your industry okay these heuristics is like if you go to the configuration actually i can show you spro basic differences you should remember basic is advanced planning is nothing but a ppds it is nothing but a your normal mrp and capacity plan these two they have enhanced into production planning and detail schedule that is a basic concept mm -hmm. so in this ppds water we have is like one is heuristic okay second thing is like uh, heuristics same heuristics only for sequencing of orders sequencing of orders automatically okay this sequencing of order you can do automatically using the advanced planning that is second thing and the third thing is like you can do there is a concept called optimizer okay what optimizer can do is it is cost based planning what is cost based i will explain you okay for example you can take on may 20th you need to produce three orders order 1 order 2 order 3 okay order 1 2 3 you need to produce on 20th of may but you have a capacity okay order 1 is 50 quantity and this is 50 quantity and this is another maybe a 60 quantity these are the quantities you need to manufacture but on your mission you have only the capacity capacity of 100 only you can produce 100 cars only so which order you will move to the next day number you cannot number. produce three orders on this date so right. which order you want to move to the next day 60 and 50 Uh, how you are deciding that the first one the second one only are both, uh, both 250 because they need 100 yeah the third one should move be out no third one should be move it to the next month no both uh, <laughs> both are uh, one no, my you see i will move this to a second order to the next day and uh, the this order i will manufacture 50 today and 10 tomorrow no problem right correct mm -hmm. but which one you want to move as a planner how you will decide Uh, but there is a strategy no there is a, some strategy first first, yeah. first two order will be uh, first two order on my for my tony okay order three orders then. you need to deliver all these three orders on the 20th only i see okay three orders three customers they want everybody on 20th oh okay but you have the capacity is 100 only how you will move that now In this can you, case, can you change the capacity? Do you have the possibility to change the capacity no. and see to make? No, it? I have only hundred. No okay. capacity. capacity. So we don't uh, we don't deliver three. 
yeah so some clients some business they will have the concept called penalty cost yeah what is a penalty cost means a customer required on may 20th if you are not deliver on that day you need to pay some penalty yeah that is that will be there for every business critical products and critical customers these things will be there. okay so you need to check how much is a penalty now who will yeah. pay the penalty cost yeah paying can a penalty can... cost means manufacturer uh -huh. he he has to pay the penalty i see okay it is nothing but like 50 quantity it is a thousand dollars okay thousand dollars is for a 50 quantity penalty is around 50 if you not deliver today so that means in place of thousand you will get only 950 only because you are not delivered on time fifty dollars they deducted as your penalty and as a manufacturer you will get 950 only in place of thousand okay it is a loss for you so now these customer wise or material wise you will have some penalty cost for example this order is having the ten dollars and this is this order is having the twenty dollars and this order is having the ten dollars assume that okay mm -hmm. different different customers you have the penalty cost now you tell me which order you will produce on 20th and which order you will move to the next day i will move the 60 to the next day i will take the first one and the second one because uh, the second one it has penalty 20 high so i have to take yeah. the first one the order two then yes. I will take the order one, then I will take the order three. Order one like and the last one. This is, this is what I mean by strategy. There is a strategy, but here it's not strategy. No, no. I found out this there is penalty. No yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 there is no yeah. strategy yeah. actually. Okay. Yeah. Now you will produce these two because this is high penalty. You will produce on 20th only. Okay. And mm. either you can take this order or this order on 20th, no issue okay you can say yeah. you can take this is order you can take on may 20th and you can move this to next next day okay. okay so you have the three orders and you can compare the penalty and you can do mm -hmm. but every day who will do this one you cannot do some system has to calculate this based on the penalty cost okay this you can achieve by using the optimizer System this whole, will do the this whole process. Yeah. Uh, optimizer Correct. will do it. Correct. I see. Because every day you cannot do. If it is one or two orders, you can do. But if every day uh, hundreds of orders, you will have. So who will do that? Sequencing based on the penalty cost and everything. You cannot do. So you need the program or system to sequence the orders based on the some penalty cost. So that optimizer will do okay so wherever you are getting the least penalty so that it will try to schedule first sorry so following the penalty he schedule only following the penalty mr wasu only following the penalty they put the priority no you have a different things like setup cost yeah okay another parameter like this penalty cost okay yeah uh, third thing is like uh, you will have a total production time yeah so okay. uh, there is a lot of factor will be yeah in, not a lot of in, five six factors are there so system yeah. will try to check all these five factors and wherever it is coming minimum so that solution it will find correct okay this optimizer feature is not there in your normal pp your normal capacity planning this optimizer feature is not there so if you want to implement this optimizer feature you need to go for advanced planning 
you cannot do with normal pp that is the meaning of advanced planning but advanced planning is uh, already in the ecc6 and uh, s400 right no it is not there in ecc6 only s400 yeah apo apo yeah yep. ecc6 means that is in apo separate system but when it come they developed s4 hana they brought that uh, this module into advanced yeah correct now for example if the let's see i got a one employer he gave me a job and okay. i work on advanced planning uh, yeah. and uh, when i start the job he don't have s4 hana but he has a uh, ecc6 so sure. um, can I work on APO even I did not practice on APO, I practice on advanced plan. Yes, obviously you can, you can work on APO. I see. If you know this, because both are same modules only, but uh -huh. they brought this into the S4 HANA, they changed the name actually. But the concepts, everything, both are same. And the transaction codes are both are yes. both the same? Yes, transaction codes, everything is same only. I see. Okay. Okay. But they reduced some master data maintenance actually. Mm -hmm. They reduced the master data maintenance. Master mm -hmm. data maintenance means in old system like ECC and APO, mm -hmm. you need to transfer master data from ECC to APO because APO is a different system. Mm -hmm. You need to transfer that. Okay. Mm -hmm. To transfer that, we used to use a SIF core interface. Okay, now yeah, this module is included in one box, so you don't require to transfer the data because in the same same system you have this. So you don't require 95% uh, of SIF is not required, means you don't require to transfer the data. Okay, because both are in the same system. That is a simplified. I see. Okay and actually in material master actually i am searching for that view if advanced planning is there in mm01 you will get one more tab actually tab oh. means yeah. yeah in the material master itself pbds yeah not ppds name will come as advanced planning actually I am searching for that uh, actually tab. Okay. Maybe they before, remove it. Yeah, before more hmm. work scheduling. So here advanced planning one tab will come. So I am yeah. searching for that one only. I want to show that tab actually. So maybe we, if you manufacture different product, maybe it will come or different uh, industry sector. No. Okay. No? Let okay. me see no. that is also. Let me see. So you mean to say I don't say no. So I'll go to the MM01. Maybe somebody is removed actually. I'm checking yes, that. Yes, I, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Is I'm the putting chemical in that industry? Oh, okay. You can see it is not coming. Even chemical industries. So let me once again see views. Where is the views actually? SPR. This is screens. We can uh, select and deselect these some screens, correct? Mm -hmm. Did you remember, Nicholas? Yeah, yeah. And material master, you can uh, configure the material master. Mm -hmm. Define structure of screens for each screen sequence. Yes, yes, yes. Is this one? Actually, no. Okay, let me select industry sector data. Yeah. Oh, I don't see it yet. Yeah. I mean. Let's 
actually that uh, screen should come here actually morning i'm checking for that one only i did not find where is that okay but one more tab will come actually okay there we will maintain the settings related to advanced planning okay and one more thing let me see maybe you can find in feoria yeah one more thing in work work center also there is a one you can see check box ah if the check box is there means mm -hmm. this work center is related to your advanced plan not for normal plan mm -hmm. this is only the tick mark mm -hmm. in old version means apo system you mm -hmm. need to transfer this work center to apo now you don't require to transfer anywhere only just activate this button mm -hmm. checkbox that means it is related to your advanced plan yes yes okay mm -hmm. same thing like you will have a one more tab in the material master actually that is not coming i don't know okay oh we are talking about the features okay now these three are the features along with you have another thing is called like alerts okay what is alerts alerts means for example you are responsible for uh, five missions okay you run the planning and one of the mission is overload hmm. overload means one mission on a particular day maybe first of june it is overload how do you know that on a particular day it is got overloaded until unless you open the capacity bo uh, the capacity cm01 transaction code and check product wise or work center wise or date wise you need to check and you need to find it is a overloaded okay but if the system gives you like one message that on a particular day particular work center is overloaded mm -hmm. then you don't require to check all work centers mm -hmm. correct on a particular day particular work center is overloaded if that information comes to you you will only go to that day that work center only and try to adjust it you don't require to verify all the five work centers and all days mm -hmm. okay that is called the alerts you can fix the alerts mm -hmm. so whenever it reaches that value it will give you a message to you it will give you a message in a different transaction code okay so you can get the mail also every day it, you can uh, schedule the job and you will get a mail also so just to verify that mail or alert and you will correct that one only now where the mail comes from uh, where the mail come to yeah, actually this alerts is there okay you will set up that alerts mm -hmm. you can see in the logistics advanced planning mm -hmm. here monitoring you can see alert monitoring mm -hmm. here you need to configure means set up this alert monitoring So if you set up this alert monitoring, it will give you the alerts. Directly you can see those alerts in this screen. Like uh, on a particular day, this work center is overloaded. You can see the details, or automatically you can schedule a background job to send that alert to your mailbox also. I see. Okay, I don't think anything is there here. It is not configured. The system is. This is alert profile. Yeah, we need to create first alert profile. Okay, and then it will come. Okay. So, but this is a feature we have in advanced planning only. 
not in normal pp okay mainly these four are the features of your advanced planning mm -hmm. and this advanced planning you can see if you see any of your business process no. where is the any business process if you see we are doing the planning i will go to the main you are doing the mrp run you will get the planned order production order release and production confirmation goods movements everything is you did but advanced planning is only for the planning you won't do any confirmations or goods receipts i see okay only mm -hmm. for planning related like mrp and capacity planning you have the advanced features but yeah. you don't have the advanced features for confirmation confirmation it, it is, is just a, confirmation. it is just for uh, just for planning but no production yeah. no goods no nothing correct just, just planning correct only advanced features which are related to your planning only mm -hmm. not for your execution execution means real manufacturing or confirmation of course yeah yeah no products uh, production or anything correct mm -hmm. correct when i when i ask a question mr wasu yeah, i yeah. think in this case if you don't have this tab related to advanced planning we will not mm -hmm. see scenario end to end for ppd yes case. you cannot see you cannot see oh okay okay man okay because the product should be set as a advanced planning act yeah maybe you can show us uh, uh maybe where you were uh, the system is set it up for advanced planning you can show us the scenario by copy screen and send us scenario how it work maybe only copy screen we don't need to, to see your system if it is possible i will check but uh, i should not okay i will check it i am not sure actually okay no, you can create. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, because uh, we have to see. Sorry. I say you can clear. You can create the alert, and then we can see how it works, and and um, it's go to the email and um, alert and information and all this thing. No, he cannot I do cannot it. I cannot do that actually. Huh? Yeah, he told this you he cannot do it. Cannot do. Yeah. Because that advanced planning tab is not coming in the system, Material Master. Oh, I see. I if see. the tab is not coming, means we cannot uh, set up this advanced. Plan. Correct. Correct. So can you work on it tomorrow and check in the system why it's not coming? No, <laughs> I checked that one. I don't know why it is not coming. I Morning see. also means before class also I checked that actually. Maybe this module is not included in this box. Yeah, correct. Maybe it could be. Maybe in S4 HANA, some, uh, some, you know, in the background, some files could be short, shorted. Correct. Exactly. Correct. Sometimes they are not updated. Some BC sets. Okay, BC sets is there. If they are not updated, those BC sets, it won't come. So in your uh, when when you, when you are working there, I mean, mm. is there a, do you have this system in there uh, in your uh, in in your industry? Yeah, we have the system, but yes. I cannot show that one because that is a uh, company given laptop. This is my personal laptop. Yeah, yeah, I know okay. that system. Uh, I cannot show. Uh, so can you you want to call this uh, uh, the guy who who has this software that you are there is a problem can you correct it or basis basis people no i don't i don't think they will correct they don't know this advanced planning and everything <laughs> example basis, like a, maybe yeah, the basis, basis all, people uh, they will uh, they will work on it maybe the i don't think i don't i don't think i see <laughs> Yeah. Um, so uh, here is the one more thing that I want to, because is there is not a, can you, can you do it a, a screenshot at your uh, work and then you can give it to us. 
I can I am not sure actually that is what I'm saying because I should not take that screenshots because material code and everything will be there actually okay I can show you how it looks like actually. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. I think you can get it in I YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube you will get it. Yeah, you can see this is the tab actually you will get. This is a material master. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after master. MRP4, you can see advanced planning is another tab. Yes, yes. Okay, and you have this tick mark also advanced planning. Yes, yes. So, this is the screen actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so what okay. okay, when you create the material advanced mm. planning and you in work, you save it, then what will mm. be the next step? Okay, once you save this means this material is related to your advanced planning. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you will do. You can use these features. Means whatever I told you these features you can use. Yeah, but when we work on these features, do you do we have any transaction code or anything? Yes, yes, we have the transaction codes. Okay, so you, I can show you the transaction codes. If you give us a transaction code, uh, yeah, yeah. one, one from the, the first, then second, then third, hmm. maybe you know, I will find some place. Okay, so you can see mm -hmm. below the production or production process, you have advanced planning. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you can see production planning. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you have Oh, what is the first one? Heuristics. Okay, so here you can see automatic planning, and this is the transaction to run the your problem solvers or heuristics. So this is the transaction code for this. And in APO, all transactions will start with the slash SAP APO. This is a transaction code. This is common. Okay. Mm -hmm slash SAP APY is a common that is one thing and another thing is like normally if you want to open the transaction code what you enter like mm -hmm. mm01 you will enter correct mm -hmm. but APO transactions always you should start with the slash n without entering slash n it won't open mm -hmm. for example in the bottom you can see slash SAP APO CDP SB0 mm -hmm. is a transaction code so first you need to enter slash n, then enter SAP, SAP APO slash CDP SB0. I see. Press enter. How, how many how many transaction codes are in advanced planning? I cannot count it. I did not. Um, maybe four, five, six. Seven. No, no, more than that. You can see you can navigate into this path actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> CDP. You can navigate into these transaction codes. You can see all these. Yeah. Okay. And the transaction codes here under uh, interactive production planning, these are related to PP and detail scheduling DS. This is a transaction course. You can run this optimizer in this one. Sequencing of heuristics sequencing it. You can do in this transaction code detail scheduling. Mm -hmm. Okay, optimizer also you will run this using the same transaction code. Okay, and the alerts alerts you will use the another transaction code. So that is. Monitoring under monitoring alert monitor. So alert monitor. These are the different transaction codes. 
to run these features actually okay and if you want uh, these are the actually the the concept and everything is a different module we cannot i cannot cover everything in uh, this s4 hana manufacturing because it is not a one day class actually okay to explain all these transaction codes concepts everything it will take another 20 classes actually it is not like uh, one day class this is only just i am showing you how to navigate and what are the features okay and if that view is there at least i can show you some transaction codes otherwise it won't come actually nothing will come okay any questions on this one advanced planning no uh, no we don't have any question uh, we don't have any question but just to ask you a question in the future uh, if you have uh, access to any system we can have this scenario i'll be more than happy to see it you know because i remember i did this training for apo like i'm talking about 2000 but in the year 2000 I spent three days with this ap to do like ppds i believe you know so oh, okay. uh, yeah here i i don't think so within one hour we can cover it easy you know uh, so but if you have one day the chance to any system you can show us the scenario i'm, I'm not asking you to see your system where you work in the company but maybe any any other server we have this uh, possibility to look at the scenario i'll be more than happy to see it. okay yeah because the uh, the system is not uh, moving forward so that's why we don't have any questions okay and we are, yeah. and we are not <laughs> no but you, you have a question you can pose the same question i pose i pose <laughs> yeah. okay. if he is not moving forward then we will not move forward <laughs> of course there's no question okay questions. okay Okay. okay no problem yeah because uh, i cannot uh, move forward without showing the without uh, this setup yeah okay. yeah we 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 said you know if you don't set up the article and such set up everything you cannot see anything you know it's, it's nice to, nice to talk but the practice is different always different correct, correct. yeah but Mr. Vasu, you can uh, uh, you can give us only this uh, this advanced planning only screenshots from yeah. your job and uh, just uh, just uh, just email us. Okay. No, from his from his job he cannot do it because it is the confidentiality. I have. Can, I'm, I'm not I, saying. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I will give now. Yeah, I'm not I'm saying that down. he can log no, no, in. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm showing you. You have ten minutes yeah yeah okay yeah i'm creating now material you can see okay i'm taking the halb material okay yeah. press yeah. enter yeah. so now you can see for a halb it is coming actually wow oh i think some setting is missing somebody has deleted for the foot or something okay oh. for yeah. halb it is coming no purchase only oh, you just add the advanced planning right yeah correct and work scheduling accounting the remaining everything is same you don't require anything okay no. this is internal it is creating okay no problem mm -hmm. uh advanced planning halb yeah for advanced planning mm -hmm. this is a material code i'm creating mm -hmm. so remaining everything is same actually you don't require okay so mm -hmm. if you want to use advanced planning first thing is you need to activate this yeah check box in mrp1 yeah okay yeah. remain and mrp type mm -hmm. you should select x0 which one x0 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 yeah see there are the, these are the new functionalities yeah <laughs> oh. 
or card drive or p okay now if you give me a chance i will take the screenshot from here yeah you can take and also can you after the class can you send us a excel uh, sheet yeah yeah sure Please. i will send. yeah okay x0 and uh, mrp2 there is no difference same thing only mm -hmm. mrp3 you can maintain normal details only mm -hmm. okay mrp2 3 nothing no difference mm -hmm. Strategy sorry only. mrp type it, it only x0 you can uh, yeah only x0 for the planned correct yeah, planned advanced plan yeah. only x0 okay mm -hmm. now you need to select the advanced planning mm -hmm. okay here actually you need to do the some settings like plan explosion it is called the pds production data structure these are the uh, all different words we will use in ap word you need to select this okay and here i told you the heuristics so you need to select the heuristic which is a problem solver you can use for planning like example these are the sap standard heuristics like example planning of standard lots okay different heuristics for different industry purposes you need to select these two things are mainly you need to select and one more thing planning procedure I told you now you uh, if I need to explain all these means it will take another 20 classes okay oh I, I'm not going to details actually mm. so you need to select this okay four <coughs> okay four and then proposed strategy is already coming here it's automatic coming here yeah it is proposed strategy in MRP 3 we maintain 10 make to stock so automatically it is coming from there. Okay, this one. Sir. Okay. Okay. So then, so this is only the difference for normal and the advanced plan. This tab and details in this tab, and you can work scheduling and everything is same okay no version or anything yeah you need to maintain all this master data no no the version in uh, mrp yes you need to maintain I see. you need okay. to maintain you cannot maintain now you need to create a bom and everything I correct see. yeah now this material is created okay What is the material number? This is the material number. Go. So now you uh, you need to do the planning means you need to create all your master data like BOM. Mm -hmm. Okay. Normally you will create BOM for this. I am putting some component here like your barley barley is there okay yeah barley is there something you don't have any okay. special setup for the component i believe yeah you don't require any special setup okay, thank okay. You. and save it the bom is saved now work center okay work center example like advanced adv1 okay so here the main difference is this check mark okay. the remaining everything is normal same so you copy you it. Want to use 
you need to use advanced planning means only you need to put this advanced check mark mm -hmm. okay and then default values pp01 remaining everything is same So this capacity and everything is same. You don't require. That. And check mark in uh, capacity. Yeah. Th three check marks. Yeah. <clears throat> and the farm loss. Six scheduling okay, mm. and then you need to create routing. routing CA01 same material no difference in the routing also normally how you will create the same routing you will create here and you will maintain setup mesh hours okay and save it so routing is also normal and finally you will create a production version so the main setup is changing at material master run work center So continue, continue and save it. Save. Okay, this is a master data setup you need to do. In advanced planning, this production version, this is called the actually PDS, production data structures. Okay, this is called the PDS. So you need to actually you need to transfer this production version from S4 to advanced planning. You need to transfer it. Okay. And your work center in S4 or ECC is called in advanced planning. This is called the resource. Okay. The names will change and material master it is called as product master hmm. these are the different names we will call in a normal system and advanced planning this sap people they just want to uh, sell their product very quick yeah correct based yeah, on industry can. they will uh, they will put a different names. they just want to make money this and yeah. and create the problem for the others <laughs> <laughs> okay okay this is a master data setup actually okay yeah. and um, 
as I told you, you need to transfer this PDS to here. Yeah. Before that, I need to check whether DRF out, something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Different, different. Okay. Oh, location is okay so how to transfer this one is like we need to use one program to transfer actually oh, no no not this one that is different location okay okay to transfer this pds means production version to this one we need a we will use another program actually production master data you can see pds for advanced planning this is the transaction code we will use to transfer this okay open this transaction code So enter your plant material before that give me one second I am checking other uh, settings are there or not actually okay 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 so open this program enter material plant and select these check boxes absolute transfer and execute so this is to transfer your production version to advanced plan production version to advanced yeah. production version and production It is still running. So it is transferred successfully, created successfully. Okay. Now, if you want to see that uh, whether uh, this PDS is transferred or not. You have a separate transaction code. Master data. And here you can see PDS. You can click this one. Display PDS. Enter the product number 740300. Correct. Okay and execute now you can see your pds has come to advanced planning okay now this scenario running means like uh, first step is you need to create a demand create a demand means you will use the md61 transaction code you can use this transaction code okay md61 
and you can create some demand for this example like I want to create this for the daily actually I'm just creating something for daily okay some 10 20 15 some 12 these are the quantities I want to produce it daily example okay and save it so in normal scenario you will run the MRP correct so here we will run the planning run I will show you how to run that or it is called the planning heuristic so for this you can use the transaction code in advanced planning open production planning and here you can use the RRP3 transaction code open this RRP3 it is still opening it And you can enter the planning version wherever you see the planning version here always a triple zero always a triple zero and you will enter your product seven four zeros 300 and press enter oh uh, crash this is crash now LCA in you know, your table. Okay, I cannot show. Yeah, this there is uh, a, actually the uh, in this system APO system is basically a live cache. This is called the live cache memory. Okay, live cache or live cache it is called. Okay, that is the setup. They have to install live cache and everything. But here that is not installed means this is error actually LCA in the DB missing entry this live cache is not there I think you can contact with this people you know mm, no they have, they have to fix it you know yeah, that's correct but I'm not sure whether they will fix it or not well, this is okay. another component they have to install, not the fixer. I see. They have to install this actually, like cache. Hmm. So, can you tell them why you give us a broken system? <laughs> I think you can drop a mail to Mohan. I see. Because I don't know who is giving the system and everything. Actually, this live cache it should be there. Then only this will work. Actually, yeah. next scenarios will work means scenario run means you know we should have this one. Okay, so everything is live cache only. Without that, you cannot proceed. Actually. Okay. So, but is but this is completely a different module okay it won't cover in one day or one hour okay all the concepts how it run and everything it will take time okay this is in this course actually it is just an introduction how it looks like what is advanced planning and what are the features you can use using this one and stuff that's all okay so is, is this the final step for this no you will have you need to run this heuristic and then the 
this heuristic will generate a planned order this is nothing but your mrp run okay after that you need to do the capacity planning i will send the okay. email to mohan or she may be able to fix it yeah okay no problem you can send yes. so this capacity planning you can mm -hmm. you will use this okay like a detail scheduling this is the second step okay for that you will use this is the transaction code. okay so these are the process steps we will follow okay. so that's all for today yes sir. okay okay and uh, okay this, thank you mr vasu okay okay thank so you. i will stop the class for today yes. maybe if you don't have any questions maybe tomorrow is the last class for you oh. all right tomorrow yeah. we'll talk about which task we'll talk yeah actually tomorrow you have a overview of people you have overview or general uh, discussion kind of thing yeah uh, there is uh, one task or two tasks for example about talk about mrp type for example you said maybe okay. we will talk about it and uh, okay. one of them how to write fs maybe uh, and then uh, and then uh, what else and the other thing is uh, extracting uh, data from the table yes and, so uh, a cockpit maybe with uh, yeah. oh. and also how to create functional specification with real time example okay yeah, this is what i said this is extracting and it, it maybe we'll have a presentation yeah sorry yeah extracting data from the from the tables okay yeah extracting data is from the table is a, is a important you talk about over overview does mean how to configure what we can what we should configure and uh sorry uh, there is something that called overview like uh, you talk about uh, what we should configure in uh, pp as for pp overview. because what we are yeah what we were doing we were doing like uh, the end user what they do they create the data they run but we we didn't do too much uh, like a spr or maybe in time okay. so actually what are the important things sir whenever i am teaching i have shown you the uh, configuration okay but you want yeah. me to okay in the class actually like uh, um, work center formulas are there okay uh, yes. production scheduling profile is there these whenever i am explaining you that time i have shown you the configuration as well Yeah, the config yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, configuration PP is uh, is not that much. Uh, you know, you can also uh, go through each and every item. You can go through configuration is not that important. The important uh, data extraction from the table is more important. Okay. okay. No, maybe small. Yeah, small presentation about the cockpit, for example, cockpit migration or something like this. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Okay. thanks a lot okay thank you i will i will uh, uh, try to cover tomorrow okay yeah yeah was okay. actually nicolas he yeah. wants to hold you longer time i don't know maybe he he try to keep you maybe he try to keep you more close to you that's why he's trying to not leaving you alone who no no better nicolas better was no no i know i know you What you did is very good. I'm sorry. I just to give you an idea. High level, very good presentation, Mr. Vasu. Very good yeah. class. You know, I appreciate all the stuff what you yeah. did. Yeah. No, we enjoyed and uh, the presentation from the beginning up to the yeah. end up till this now is very excellent. And uh, the way you teach and explain that's very excellent. You know, presentation. And, uh, okay. Thank learn, you. yeah we we'll learn at least about 85% there are some other things that we not uh, practice sometimes the system is broken or we are busy so we are working too now 
we work from morning to evening when we come back yeah so correct we have only weekend you know so still we are trying to do our best yeah uh, your presentation is uh, is a uh, is fantastic you know there is yeah no okay thank you Thank you, Mr. Watson. I'm I'm sorry I have to drop because I don't have another yeah, call yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah. thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah. If yeah. you send us uh, the email for uh, 